Hi there and welcome to my studio. My name is Gideon, also known as Gideon Slides, and I'm a creative effect coach. Come join me in my studio as we play and have fun at the canvas and in our art journals. What are you waiting for? Here we go. a lot of fun so I've brought my art journal back and uh, it's time for us to play a little bit and I'm so excited because now I've surrounded myself with all the beautiful colors that I remember on this day and I definitely want to make use of as much of these papers as possible Okay, so strategically, I thought um, that I want to work down in layers on this page because I must use just, you know, so much of these papers. I mean, look at this. Mm -hmm. This was my brayer paper when I did these original unboxing prints and uh, I kept it it is just spectacular so I definitely have to use a piece of this a little strip of that it's got a bit of everything in there so I think a nice little slither of this is going to be very beautiful indeed so I want to use all four of these photographs and I am thinking maybe I should do a double spread what you guys think hey so that I mean to do another page because I do have such beautiful papers and I've got such beautiful photos so I'm thinking they will stand out more and speak more uh, clearly if we leave some negative space so we can see some of these beautiful papers I think that's what I'm gonna do so which one shall we do first I think a progression of the story, early day, late afternoon, and then later and later still. I think that's what we're going to do. So let me put those two aside, and we're going to use these two photographs on this double page. Yes. Okay. Now, I thought what I should do is I should use... Uh, little strips of my paper and work in little horizontal layers from the top to the bottom to sort of give us the same um, repetition of lines that we see in the photographs so it's definitely landscape kind of setup so I thought that might be interesting so what if we treat the whole double page as one um, canvas and we work in in layers like that. I think that will be quite beautiful. Now, this is a gorgeous piece that I definitely want to use um, at the bottom. I think we must work with lightest layers. You can just organize myself here a little bit. Put my tissues aside. I think we must play with Mm, let's let this inspire us keep that close at hand so we've got some violets and some coppers and some <laughs> bit of everything here I want to do the blues here somewhere as well because those blues are also there Then I think this piece is just so phenomenal. Must go somewhere. Let's just put it aside. Yes, this are some golds. Yes, I think we will start with some golds, and then I need some pinks. 
some pink, some bronzes, some mauves, and then some blues, and then some coppers and golds. <laughs> I'm working this all out in my mind to see how we are going to do this. Okay, so I think what I'm imagining is starting with a layer of this at the top. But I need to split it in an interesting way so that it can, it can cross over the page. So let's do a random tear like this. Okay. Just making sense. I'm gonna Okay, so another thing I am experimenting with today is I got a new glue stick from uh, my local supply store. It's called um, a Disappearing Purple Glue. Now, I've never, ever worked with this before. So, I'm trusting that it will disappear. So, we're going to experiment today. And... Uh, see how this all works out so I just want to organize myself here with a page that I can glue on let me just put this aside forgive me guys as I organize myself here in our creative session I can grab one of these as a scrap page to glue on and let's give this a try. Now I want to tear off the axis here on the side. And then I'll cut the rest off later. So let's get in with this purple glue and see how this will work. The nice thing is you can then see where you have put your blue I suppose and you can see if you have an even coating coverage there in my crease of my diary that's nice our first piece of paper is down and I'm loving it let's do the same with this side okay so far so good it looks like the purple paint or the purple pigment does disappear as it dries so that's good news so i've switched to uh, a bit of a stick kind of um, glue because i think it's nice to do the matte medium but it's um it's very thick <laughs> so I'm experimenting with using some oh oh 
Oh, oh dear, we have a disaster. I'm experimenting with the stick, but now I've messed up this page. Or oh, this paper, rather. Not the end of the world. This is how we learn. This is all experimental. Let's see what other gold paper have I got here. That might work for us. See if that can work. Or maybe I can use the bronze up there. Totally. Okay, so this is all experimental. I'm learning and experimenting as I'm going. Okay, I'm gonna stick this down as is because the next sheet can be a little bit more textured okay so let's try again the tissue paper is quite thin I'll just create a little bit more all oh, right a minute here is the other gold i was looking for yay you see things always work out in the end let's get that off back on track okay so focusing I'm gonna hold this tissue paper as I'm talking and putting <laughs> I want to say paint but I mean glue go slow and then I'm gonna turn it around and go from there down that's where it was torn. <laughs> Gently does it. Okay, so we are learning that the tissue paper is very thin. And it can tear easily, so it's like gold leaf almost. But the advantages is that the page dries instantly so I can continue to work and um, it's not so thick I must just be more careful I'm a little bit clumsy okay so I think for the next layer now let's move into some of the bronzes I think that will be pretty so Let's try this jagged tearing action again. So I almost want to mimic some of the cloud banks, but in a horizontal kind of fashion, if you know what I mean. So now you will see what I mean. If I put this on top, then I get that interesting line there. covers up that negative spice. Yes, okie dokie. Okay, so I'm gonna... <laughs> There's my ruler. I'm going to take that edge off. And we're gonna put it down there. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply the glue to the page. this way I'm applying the glue to the stronger part of the 
page. Let's see how that works out. Oh, that's not going well. Yeah, I can't get that to cover there. Crossing over a little bit because I missed a bit there. It's okay if the tear isn't perfect. Feels like my diary is running away from me. <laughs> Okie dokie, it's happening. Okay, so now let's shift down to the mauves. I'm using this photograph as my color chart inspiration. So here we have some of the mauves. Okay, let's also do a interesting tear you see you can tear things in an interesting way or you can print things in an interesting way the options that you have with collaging is literally limitless unlimited I like that okay so A strong blue. I do have some prettier as well. I think pretty is a little bit softer for these lighter edges that I missed. I just want to flatten them down. Starting to look interesting. Okay. Painting with paper. Who would have guessed? I love that. I love, love, love that. Kidoki. Put our glue down. The nice thing about this. 
so I can see exactly where the glue is. That's great. So I'm getting glue stick everywhere, so it's definitely a bit of a challenge between the two, but it's working for me. Right, so on our palette palette, I think now we need some of these blues and greys. Gray on this section, so I think let me see here in my stash of papers if there's anything else that I can do. Discovered another piece that has to go in somewhere. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get to that. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is going to be an interesting piece that we're gonna add later. <laughs> but for now, I didn't get what I was looking for, but I think we're gonna play with the blues. this a little bit more even We've got my wax paper in my previous page so that whatever work I do on this page does not contaminate my previous diary entries. to talk and think at the same time so forgive me if I have these quiet moments because that's sort of when my brain is completely utilizing the right side and the left side is just following prompts and commands <laughs> that's how you also can know that you are in your right brain the correct brain <laughs> is if you go into this what I like to call left brain fart moment you all know what I mean Awesome. Okay, 
now we're coming down to some of these bronzy moments. So I'm thinking oh, yes. yes, yes, thank you. Let's do It's quite purple, eh? <laughs> but it does disappear, so that's so, so awesome. Right, I think I need a little bit more. A bit more there as well. just thought I must cover this whole thing with a layer of um, matte medium afterwards but you know I think I must just let this stick dry and then decide uh, one or the other or both I'm liking how fast it is I don't have to wait for it to dry in between so there's definite advantages, but like with anything new, it's challenging to get used to it. Um, but it's not impossible, right? We can learn new things and adapt to any new circumstances. We are resilient and adaptable. That's the only part to me that's frustrating with the tissue paper is the glue is quite strong. Now there is another one that you can use with finer tissues that's not as strong but um, I haven't found that yet. Now we're going to end this page with the bronze down here at the bottom. It looks like we're going to need another layer. But that's okay, right? Because we don't mind adding another layer. 
there's always something more beautiful to add here we go and I said it's faster and more efficient to apply the glue to the page instead of to the tissue paper but then I miss some spots that's what I find annoying I hope you guys can still see that I'm still on camera you see the nice thing is it's dry you can immediately add another layer so that's exciting let's take this side off Is still running. I will check into you guys now. Let me just check if the camera is still running. It looks like it is, so I'm very really happy about that. I think it is now time maybe to come to this piece of tissue paper down here. If not, why not? Oh, this is just so beautiful. Okay, so for this, where's my watercolor brush? I don't have it with me, so I'm just going to use any brush. You don't have to use a watercolor brush. Any brush will do. I just wet the line where I want to tear it, and then I have an easy tear. Oh, isn't that glorious? So I'm gonna let this stick over and then I can cut it later. So again, I'm going to glue the page and not the tissue. Making sure the corners are particularly well greased with glue. watercolor oh isn't it stunning let's get some glue down there oops you see if the glue stick is too gritty or dry for it so i will definitely need something else for the tissue papers but i do know that the photographs and whatever does take very well. Let's do this side. Why not? Okay, again with a brush. So that we can get a nice clean cut. I like that side up. And that's going to be beautiful. Okay, so let's put the glue down carefully because now our page is starting to round because of all the collaging. But that's quite normal. Just 
three like this off, then white like this. Awesome! Isn't that looking cute? We are painting. It looks like mountains or clouds or whatever you perceive that to be. <laughs> so I'm going to just let this dry, check on my camera's memory and then when I come back we will finish this page. So I'm back, everything is dried in this layer and I have decided now to bring in some last minute details to this, finish this page. So I've used that piece of um, baby wipe and I've applied it with my acrylic medium and uh, it becomes quite gauzy and stretchy when you pull it open so I just used a slither of that to help define that center horizontal line um, that for me sort of mimics the water line on the horizon. I've also decided to place my photos and um, I've applied it with glue um, and in the end I actually decided to just seal the whole page with some acrylic medium. Of course you don't have to do it but because I have so many elements that I've pasted one on top of the other, uh, especially also with the tissue paper at the bottom of the page. I decided it can't do any harm, just in case I missed any spots uh, on the papers and I didn't want it to lift. So in the end, I did put a layer of acrylic medium over everything. But this page for now is going to be done with these two photographs and then next week I will move on and play with the other two photographs um, so do remember to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I upload a new video thank you for joining us if you are new here welcome to my page uh, I'm excited to share my creative journey with you and hopefully inspire you to create along with me either in your art journal or on a canvas. Uh, so thank you guys for checking in. I will allow you to enjoy these last few minutes of this creative journey. But do look ahead for the second part of this sunset, epic sunset episode in my art journal. So thanks for watching and uh, drop me a comment and tell me where you are from. I'll speak to you guys again real soon. Bye bye for now.